Arizona Living, Your Life, Your Style. I'm your host, Rochelle McRae. Before summer ends, we're having some fun here at the Arizona Science Center. But before we get started, let's take a look at what's coming up in the show. Having the right desk can make studying for school easier and fun. Our experts will show you some back to school ideas. We check out a special high school that's teaching students the skills they need for their dream careers. And we travel back in time to Tucson to celebrate one of the most infamous moments in history. All of that and more on this episode of Arizona Living. Arizona Science Center, a great place for kids and adults alike. And with me now is the Chief Curiosity Officer, Sari Custer. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for being here today. What a cool title. Oh, thank you so much. I love helping people uh, figure out what they're curious about. Now, I understand we're going to talk about your newest exhibit, The yes. Mirror Maze. What is it? Yes, yeah, so A Mirror Maze, Numbers in Nature. It is a great exhibition for all ages. It's totally hands-on. And it's all about math and math around us every day. So looking at nature's patterns, puzzles, and mazes, and seeing some of those familiar shapes and patterns and connecting them back to math. I heard you have a Michael Phelps exhibit that's really popular. Can you tell me more about that? <laughs> yes, yeah, so one of the hands-on exhibits we have inside a mirror maze is all about the golden ratio. So ratio from your wrist to your finger or even your wingspan. So your wingspan is about equal to your height and Michael Phelps uh, has a wingspan that's a little uh, longer than he is tall. Wow. So he's technically imperfect as far as the golden ratio goes, but it makes him a better swimmer. So perfectly imperfect. Wow. And the kids must be so fascinated by that too. Yes. And they can compare their own ratio. Uh, it's an exhibit that measures them and shows them in a digital form so they can see what their golden ratio is too and how they compare. That's amazing. And everything here seems to be very hands-on. Absolutely. So inside uh, a mirror maze, they can check out all the different patterns. So look at different patterns like uh, Vernoy patterns and nature's really efficient so um, models of lungs and lightning strikes and even ant farms and of course I don't want to leave out the mirror maze itself of course that's by far one of the most interactive it's 1800 square feet of geometrically arranged mirrors and the wow. light bouncing off those mirrors helps you get a little lost oh wow really yeah. so you actually have to kind of try to find your way through you do and it's a long way I've gone in several different times and gotten lost and turned around myself <laughs> thinking I was going to the exit going right back to the entrance well, you know, I'm definitely going to have to try that while I'm here. Oh, yeah. You've got to give it a try. Now, how long will the mirror maze be here? So this one's going to go now through September 4th. So you can go all the way through that Labor Day weekend and one more day. And you've got some time to come beat the heat and be here in our 74 degree weather uh, inside the inside. science center. Yeah, I was going to say, man, it'd be great outside. Yeah, this inside is the perfect center. summer spot. So that is excellent. I know that we are going to see you a little bit later in the show because this is not only a place for kids. This is a playground for adults, too. You guys have adult night, and we I sure really do. want to know more about that. And I'll tell you all about it. All right, perfect. Phoenix Fashion Week is a time for some of the top new designers to show off their talent. Let's take a look. Right now I'm in college at Columbus College of Art and Design in Ohio and I've been researching different fashion shows I can be a part of as an emerging designer and through searching online I found that that would bring me to Phoenix and Phoenix Fashion Week has the best boot camp and opportunities for young designers. I've never done anything like this before so I'm expecting a lot of surprises to tell you the truth. Um, it's already been packed with surprises and lovely people that I've met. I think I've smiled more than I've ever in my life and talked to so many people. So um, I'm just looking forward to getting the ball rolling and having fun. It's a lot of fun because I'm, I'm meeting a lot of um, the emerging models and other designers and uh, influencers, um, bloggers. and. Uh, so it's, it's, it's really nice to be in this uh, setting because he, there's so many people and everyone wants to talk uh, to you and know about your brand and what you're all about, where you're from, how you got started. And so it is, it's, it's really exciting. There's a lot of excitement out there. The great thing about Phoenix Fashion Week, we're all about emerging designers. So the big fashion weeks on the East Coast and the West Coast, they're all about top names. But we have our own niche, which is emerging fashion talent. And we're known for that now. So now designers from all over the world, 
Botswana, Africa, the Philippines, Dubai, all come to Phoenix Fashion Week to launch their brands before they go to LA, before they go to New York. That's what we're known for. We're going to continue to grow that. Being at the launch party right now in Phoenix is a really surreal feeling because um, Phoenix kind of has an emotional uh, meaning for me. It's where my family comes from and it was the loss of my father that made me want to get into fashion design. And so being here, I'm with my family and I'm feeling closer to him than ever and I feel like this is uh, the opportunity that God has presented for me. So it just feels super incredible and I'm super grateful. If you're a designer, I would say try this out. It's just, it's, it's amazing. The energy here, though, is just attending it. I mean, just talking to the people that are attending. And a young lady got here early today and just like, oh, I've been coming for like four years. So it seems like to be a, a great place to be tonight. Fashion design is something that a lot of kids are wanting to get into. And a lot of people are telling them not to because it's so tough but I say don't listen to them. There are a lot of resources out there that can help you make it in the industry, Phoenix Fashion Week being one of them. And I just say to push forward, keep your head down and just do it. The Arizona Science Center has cool exhibits like the Mirror Maze and they have themed events year round. For more information, head to their website. Coming up next on Arizona Living. We're treated to the bluesy sounds of the Jam Pack Band, a group of very talented neighborhood kids. And if you love history, there's a hotel in Tucson with plenty of it. We check it out. part of school and having the right desk can make a big difference. The experts at American Furniture Warehouse show us some ideas for your students. path to adulthood. At West Mech High School, kids are learning valuable skills that open doors to amazing careers. I'm Savannah Hermanow and I am a senior that goes to Millennium who also attends West Mech program welding. I have learned how to do everything from cutting to MIG, TIG, and stick welding. I wanted to be a veterinarian for as long as I could remember and then my friend was like, hey, look into the Westmec program and you'll, you'll find a lot of different things to do. And welding just caught my eye because I was like, I don't know any girl welders. My dad said when I told him that I wanted to be a welder, he said, oh, you can't do it, you're a girl, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be good. And here I am proving him wrong, I'm a good welder. We've learned a little bit about the textbook stuff, but you're in the shop every single day, hands on, doing fun activities. My name is Lars. I'm a senior at Boulder Creek High School. And some things that I dreamt of as a kid is like just drive fast cars, like build stuff, have fun, go outdoors. I still do that stuff. I still go outdoors, have fun hunting and fishing. But I never thought I would be an aviation mechanic. It's, I never looked back. So I came to West Mac. I checked it out, and the program's just, it's amazing. Like, you sign up, and I happen to be thankful enough to get accepted. And so I've been going here a little over a year and a half, 
and I love it. Every day it's something new, something different, and it just never gets old. My name is Troy Gabaldon. I'm the campus administrator at Central Campus, and we're part of Westmec. Westmec trains students in getting the skills to get a job in the real world, so to speak. So on this particular campus, we have aviation maintenance, we have welding, we have precision machining, avionics, and law and public safety. I think the inspiration is that a lot of people don't feel that kids can do this stuff. Our curriculum is the same as any you know, community college or any kind of skill center teaching these skills. It's great to be able to do this for kids and have, get them prepared for life earlier than, than at waiting until they get out of high school. As they come here, they, they get high school credit. They get elective credits to, to take courses here. And then all of our courses, we offer certification. So they'll be certified either be welding, through aviation maintenance, or through avionics. We do certifications so they can get a job once they leave here. My future is looking really good because I've networked myself. I know people who own welding companies, metal companies, and they'll they'll hire me right off the bat because I went through Westmec and their program. Westmec is like preparing students today for like tomorrow's workforce. So pretty much I'm coming here every day, five days a week for a little over four hours right after high school. And that's preparing me for the future and I just can't get any better than that. If you're in the military or have a family member who is, the Arizona Science Center has special offers. Their website has more information. A neighborhood teacher is joining forces with kids to create a very special band. Wait till you hear their story. And the Arizona Science Center is not just about kids. Adults can have a blast here too. More on adults only events coming up. Get more great tips for enhancing your life. Visit yourview.com for more videos from Arizona Living, your life, your style. A Valley teacher is combining her love for music and working with kids to create the coolest jam band in town. Back in 1994, I was trying to learn to play the mandolin. It was very difficult for me. And I was a substitute teacher here in Chandler, in the schools. And I went up to Galveston, which is just a block away from us, the largest elementary school in Chandler. And everywhere I went and up there, I took my mandolin so I could practice. has always been large. From almost the beginning, soon it was 17, then 20. One time I had 35 performing members. And it's always stayed about 28. Many of them don't leave. The canjos, those came just about six weeks later. Somebody found a kit in the Woodworkers magazine, and I got it and built it. And so we built our first instruments. play Marana, Tucson, Apache Junction, Flagstaff, and we go to California every year and we'll play on the boardwalk somewhere, or sometimes have a little concert, but mainly we do that just to go have fun. I grew up in a musical family, but I was the poorest of the poor. I wanted to just play outside, I never wanted to practice, and I definitely didn't do a string instrument. This is a home-based program, I would never take it anywhere else. Even as crowded as it is, it all works. I live in a multicultural neighborhood. This is about 96% Hispanic, but it's also an, a neighborhood where immigrants come from everywhere the culture is coming together. I mean, it's the foundation of what I do. Because if we can all grow up together and learn to get along and with all kinds of people, socioeconomic levels and all that, that we're going to be better people.
Our pride and joy, 1988 Winnebago, and we get everybody in there, all the instruments, camping gear, believe it or not. This is my mission, my personal, and I can't even say I never would have thought of it. I wouldn't have thought of life in this, but I was always going to do something neighborhood-wise. And eventually I got to it when I was 50. Our jam pack! Woo! at the Arizona Science Center and joining me now is Sari Custer and she is the Chief Curiosity Officer. This is not only a place for kids, this is a place for adults. Now I heard that you have something called Adult Nights. Fill me in on this because I feel a date night with my husband coming up. Absolutely and we are a place for all ages but sometimes um, our youngest guests uh, step aside and then our adults want to have a place to come without those younger guests. So we have uh, our Science with a Twist okay. is a monthly event that we have um, and we've had topics, they're usually themed, so anything from our most recent one was Harry Potter, we've done murder mysteries, we've had Marvel or comic wow. superhero nights. Oh yeah, lots of fun. So they're usually themed out and you can explore the Science Center without the youngest guests, 21 and over only, and grab a cocktail at the same time. Oh, I love it. Well, speaking of cocktails, is it true that you have something called Liquor and lasers, or laser and liquor? Lasers and liquor, we Love. do. So, hey. <laughs> yeah, um, another way to enjoy the Science Center in a, a little different way. So in our Dorrance Planetarium, we have laser shows, and you can grab a cocktail and go into the planetarium and enjoy your favorite rock band. So anything from Pink Floyd to Metallica. We even have some pop shows, actually, if that's more of your thing. Yeah. Um, and technically, they're all ages, but they are geared a little bit older. Speaking of planetariums, which you just mentioned, yeah. you have one of the largest planetariums in the United States right here at the Science Center. Our shows are always changing in there. We have a 60-foot full dome planetarium. It's wow. really immersive and it feels like you're under the night sky and really getting into whatever the show is. Now what are the times of these events? So the dates and times usually change, but if you check out our website, um, on average our Science with a Twist is from 6 to 10 p.m. Okay. and the best place to find all the information about themes and times is going to be on our website. Now Sarah, you guys have a lot going on all of the time and it's always changing. There's something interesting here year round. Why is it great to get a membership to the Arizona Science Center? Oh yeah, so our memberships are great. It's a wonderful way to get a discounted admission into the Science Center. So members get in free all year long, plus they get discounts to our theater shows, so our planetarium, the giant screen theater, and then other special treats along the way, like uh, special member-only events. Thank you for joining us, Sari, and we had a great time. And if you want to find out more, head to the Arizona Science Center website. Coming up on the show, we're taking a field trip to Tucson for a history lesson that takes place in a hotel. Not done exploring your creative side? Visit yourview.com for more videos from Arizona Living, your home, your inspiration. in Tucson is filled with history and once a year it celebrates its most infamous moment in time. This is Dillinger Days. I'm John Dillinger. Welcome to Dillinger Days. This is John Dillinger Days and it's certainly a reenactment of the history from back in the 30s when uh, no one else could capture him but Tucson did. 84 years later, we're still celebrating it. We all get to get dressed up and feel like we're John Dillinger for a couple of days and just have a good time. That's why we do it every year. It's because it's a lot of fun. And we're all hams. <laughs> so this is a celebration of the firemen and the Tucson police running in when the rest of us are running out, right? So that's what this event is really about. It's the story of the capture. This is maybe the most important thing that happened here ever. All the big stuff happened in one night. The, the Dillinger game caught, our big fire, we lost a third floor, the whole thing. The whole kit in the world in one night in January 1934. I'm David Salutes, the entertainment director here at Hotel Congress. Welcome to Hotel Congress.
The real story is we know the gang stayed here for sure. We're not sure if Don himself stayed here one night. He actually went off, he had a girlfriend over on 2nd Avenue, not too far from here, that he moved over to, and the rest of the gang was staying here the night we had this big fire. And the gang was subsequently rounded up uh, for the police department because those guys had to leave. The fire department guys recognized them and grabbed them. And then they subsequently led them to John, who was over on 2nd Avenue. And the only reason those guys were even caught here at all is because they tried to move into the same house John was at, but the gal who was renting the house was waxing the floors and said, no, nah, you got to stay at Congress one more night. And that was the fateful night they were all captured. He's such so part of this place that you'll, you're going to feel that Dillinger, you're going to feel that gangster era when you come down here for sure. I look at guys like Dillinger, Jesse James, Billy the Kid. Why are they so popular, so romantic in our minds? I think it's because they all came at a time when it was hard times. Hard times for everybody in the country. And they gave back a little bit. And they gave some hope to those without. That attitude of helping the little man is why he became popular. If he hadn't had that, he wouldn't be the name that he is today. He was cocky, he was funny, he looked like he was enjoying himself while he was doing all this stuff. So he was, he could have been an actor if he'd wanted to. Life of crime instead. Well, Dillinger Days continues to grow, and as uh, next year will be our 100th anniversary, but I don't see it ever ending. I mean, we seem to be the caretakers of this little piece of Tucson history. We're very proud of it. You can actually really live it and feel it here. It's just, it's pretty cool. We want to thank everyone here at the Arizona Science Center for showing us around today. The Arizona Science Center can also handle your party, office event, or even your wedding. How cool is that? They also offer private tours of the exhibitions if you prefer. Just visit their website for more information. We'll see you next time on Arizona Living Your Life, Your Style, where we help you live your best life.